welcome to my studio today. I am going to be preparing this pastel painting for shipping. It's a, a simple step and I think it's a good tip that I really wanted to recommend. I, I found a box that, I, box that I already had that I'm going to reuse. I've already mounted my pastel painting to a, a foam core mounting board and I have uh, plenty of area around the painting so that it can be handled without worry of, of touching the pastel painting. I also applied some painter's tape to the back of the foam core so that the framer can lift the painting out of the box very easily without touching any of the surface. So I'll place this into the box first, making sure my straps are, are easy to grab. Then what I've done is I used a half inch foam core and I used a uh, cutting blade to to create a frame um, that will sit over the painting like this and it, it lifts it up a half inch above the actual painting um, I I was uh, able to cut it so that I have a, a nice space around the pastel so this can't slide in and touch the, the painting. Once I have that in the box, then I'll use a, a, a 3 8 inch foam core to put on top of it. And this will cover the entire surface area of the box. So it's, it's very firm and I don't have to worry while shipping that uh, the the picture would get damaged. Once I place that in the box, then I'll take my instructions and a couple business cards to the top of the board. So then it's ready to go. Now all I have to do is close it up and seal it for shipping. Now I just need some strapping tape to tape it up. I'll just seal the front flap right now. Once I'm ready to ship it, I will apply more tape. I'll probably tape around the edges to make sure it has a good seal. And, and that's it. And it is ready to ship. And the foam core is not too heavy, so it's still a light package. And I hope you found this tip useful. And if you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time for some more tips.